Okay, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Never a Dull Moment. We have a definitely not a dull moment. Have you ever seen a 240 millimeter Nakiri? I mean, you might have when you saw my other episode the other day when I did patinas. But today is the actual, like, kind of unboxing. I mean, we've seen it, but we haven't used it yet. So today we have the Hinokuni 240 millimeter Nakiri. Now, let's talk about this company for a second. Okay. So, Yukihira Sakai was like an apprentice for Nishida Knives. And after learning everything he needed to know, he was like, I'm going to do my own thing. So, this knife is Shiragami number one. And if you know anything about that steel, you know, it is the purest carbon content, the purest form of steel. And it's supposed to get the sharpest. And the hardness on this is up there. It's a 62-63. It's not that you can't make it harder, but this material definitely gets to be the sharpest edge. So uh, supposedly my boy knows everything there is to know and understands like hand forging San Mai. And so he gets it done himself. This is a pre-laminated where he just makes a knife out of it. He does the work. And he definitely is supposed to be like the guy who understands how to keep the carbon from migrating onto the San Mai cladding. And so... I just can't wait to see this with you. We got some food out for you to, to, to use. We want to see how sharp it is out of the box. So this is factory scent. Um, this is from Tokushu Knife. Uh, I'll definitely put a link in the description. So this machete of a knife. It is, like I said, factory. They do offer when you get these if they, if we, they want to put like another edge on there. I do see some really nice texture on the edge of the blade. Okay, so it's definitely got your normal Nakiri height to it. It's not a cleaver, not to be confused with a cleaver. And if you remember in any of your lessons, the Nakiri is the Japanese version of the Chinese cleaver. Normally used as a vegetable knife, we can see that the spine on this is, I mean, it's a, you know, it's not significantly thick, you know, it, um, I think the sheer massive size of the knife makes for the, the weight that's going to help push through so it, thin not thin, but the, um, but the shirogami itself being just so sharp. And what we're going to see is we've got a potato so we can get some release from a starchy food. Um, we've got some delicate things like a mushroom. We got some celery that's, you know, we need a bite, but we got a humongous head of lettuce so we can just see this bad boy, you know, and it's in its fullness there. So let's just go ahead right off the bat and do a uh, best test sharpness so we can, um, see what's going on. Okay. All right. So we got that ready for you. Let me make sure it's the score is reset completely. So 160 is awesome. Yep, that's good. I mean, really awesome. To be factory sent, sub 200. We've seen 218 be amazing. To below 200 is awesome. Okay, so let's roll with that. If you guys have never seen this, just a little comment on the best. The best is a great um, like tool in the industry for letting us know sharpness, but it's definitely not the standard. Uh, I'll definitely I'll put a link in the description. This is the, the, the better version. There's three versions. This is the better version. Um, so it just got it just does more calculations per se. So it's going to be a little bit more accurate. All right. So people, I'm giving you info because people ask. The teak house cutting board is what I've got below. But I'm actually going to be using um, something that's got a little bit of a grip. So this is the Asahi cutting board. This is only uh, a quarter of an inch thick. Um, it's got a little bit more flex, but this is the synthetic rubber cutting board. Uh, I definitely want to keep the edge of this knife, um, keep, the, keep it as sharp as possible for as long as I can. So I just wanted to use like the slightly softer cutting board instead of always using the teak. So right off the bat, let's just get into this bad boy here. Okay, 
So normally I would just like hit that and pop that, but we're going to just take care of this right here. So, so you can see like its width versus the cabbage itself. So it's definitely good enough to like, you know, take care of it. I'm going to go ahead and slice like right in half so you can see how wide it is in compared to the, the cabbage itself. Okay, so... Is it fun? I mean, it's fun. It slipped right through that. So, I want to make sure I don't lose any fingers. So, we've got our claw. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm just trying to make sure I don't get a finger underneath this thing. It's got me, you know, a little bit worried like that. But it definitely made quick work of the cabbage. So definitely helps me to make a mess. Hi so, I mean, this is literally like a machete. Let's go ahead and get the comparison shot here. Not that I want to do any harm to myself. I mean, it's pretty big. What do you think, hon? It's pretty big. Yeah. Okay. So we know it can handle the heavy duty stuff. So I need to clear this all out of here. And we're back. So we've definitely got some, some larger things. I'm going to save the potato for last because the potato is something everybody always asks about. It starts in it. So this thing is massive to kind of wield. So I mean... So, I mean, fun to use. It's a, it's a little bit much. Can handle all the tasks. How about something as delicate as like a carrot? You know, it's got a little bite right there. A little bit of hi -yah 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 -yah. Okay, we got the, the mushroom here. Mushrooms can be very delicate. Let's see how much kind of paper we can get. How heavy is it to use? I mean, just because it's your size. We can get a know? scale out and measure it, but that is thin. I mean, for those who don't know, that is thin. So the fact that the edge, as thick as this blade is, the edge is thin enough. that I can do extremely, extremely delicate paper. I mean, paper, paper thin. So big knife, thin edge. I think you could almost like confuse this as a meat cleaver or something. It really is good for the delicate work. So whether you're, you know, just doing some, some big, mushrooms or something is delicate and fine all right so let's get into this potato all right so this is considered the food release test okay so these are not cooked this particular potato is considered to be starchier than your average potato I mean, it's nice, you know. Are you blueberry testing a potato? I'm blueberry testing a potato. Okay, so as far as the I think that we're seeing that the food is releasing. releasing. So I'm getting very thin potato.
I mean, you can feel the starch wanting to stick. And it's definitely a starchy potato. But potato's falling right off. So, I think it's awesome. I mean, it's priced amazing. Um, well, I'll definitely put the price below. I want to say it's like $150. Um, I'm sorry that I don't have the price on hand. Um, luckily, when you have a sponsor, a lot of times you don't know the price because things are just given to you. Um, if I remember, I saw it was four easy payments of $32.90, if I think it is. So, so I tell you what we have. We have two other knives. Uh, my wife is going to open the drawer in front, and we will get that for you. So we're going to pull out a Fujiwara Nakiri. It's going to be on that side. It is uh, the brown, probably that brown box, right? Nope. Come forward. There you go. So this Nakiri, by comparison, oh, this is a Super Blue number two, but again, and it's got uh, more of a Tashimi on there as well as the Kurichi finish. This is a Kurichi finish without any type of uh, hammer marks in it. And uh, so we've got the food scale out <clears throat> just to give you like a weight difference. I don't know, my wife can tell me if this is in the shot. It is, but I don't know. So we'll let you know what the weight of it is. So this knife weighs 275 grams. And then your standard size, I mean 100 grams less, 179. So that gives you a little comparison. So, so there, obviously there's that added weight for the metal. Um, that was fun. Uh, I just, none of this is in my diet. <laughs> so we, we cut up some food for you. Hopefully that was definitely not a dull moment. Definitely go out and get yours today if you don't already have one. Definitely something unique to kind of add to the collection if you didn't already have one. It's not going to break the bank. Extremely sharp, and remember this is reactive material. So if you're new to carbon steel knives, remember that when you buy this knife, you are buying something that is reactive. That potato, as acidic as it is, is not good for this edge. So when we stop for this video, it's time to wipe this down and put it away for storage. Fun to use this upcoming week in my food prep. That was definitely not a dull moment. We appreciate your support as always. We'll see you on Friday nights. Thank you and God bless.